Okay, well this video is going to be on Highway Boss and I'm just going to tell you how you can pretty much cheese them. Um, meaning, like, how can you get the items? How can you get the items from the boss? And I'm going to tell you how you can get the metal items from him. And I'm going to show you how to fight him. He's a really easy boss. Take your time, don't push him, don't be dumb. Um, he's a really fun boss. Um, the thing about him is, um, how do you cheese him with the metal? First, you fight him until he's low, you die to him, you do what I just did to get over here, and then you put the metal on when you die. It's a really fun boss. I'm gonna jump eventually here. Jump. Oh shit, I'm gonna die to him. Oh! <laughs> nice, uh. Okay, he'll jump here. He'll jump, jump, jump. I know you wanna jump, dude. Jump! Throw those. Try to lynch that. Oh, coming this way. Nice, sir. Uh, come my way. Come my way. Just take your time with him. When he does that, mostly you want to do that. When he does that, you mostly want to do that. When you do the. Oh, oh, oh. That's your time. Push him. Uh, push. You're dead. Mama, mama. So that's just a little show ago. Um, what I was talking about, right? You take a ice flute, you put it there, you jump, you E, you I mean you Q, and then you click space and then glide over here without the metal. When you get them low, like 200 health, you put the metal on, you push over here, or you can even get as low as possible as you want. And then when you die to him, you do that, and he'll still have the same amount of health. He takes a little to respawn. You put the metal on. And then you kill him. Um, he's a really easy boss to fight. When he shoots the things up in the air, you can push him and hurt him, but he will twirl near you. Every combo he does, he well, every move pretty much, he will twirl near you. They're really easy to parry. Like, I'll push him right now. He's gonna twirl, like I said. He's gonna do something here. You can get a lot of hits, and, and he'll twirl though, like I said. He'll throw those at me. He'll twirl near me quicker than usual. He'll shoot them in the air. He'll twirl near me, like I said. He'll go up. He'll twirl near me, like said. He'll throw them at me. He'll twirl near me fast. He'll throw that at me. He'll twirl, like said. Oh, that's not good. That shit hurts. He'll twirl up. No, no, he'll jump, he'll jump. He'll jump, he'll jump here. You have to jump. Every combo, remember, he'll twirl. He'll jump here. He'll twirl, like said. He'll throw shit at me. Twirl. Now he'll shoot shit up in the air. Oh, he, he does that double once you make him happy. He'll go. He'll jump, 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 jump. He'll twirl. Jump, 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 jump. He'll jump this time. Yeah, he'll jump here. Watch. Yep. He'll throw shit at me, like usually right after that. He'll do that. There's the guide. It's an okay guide. Um, just y literally what I just said, and I predicted what he was doing, is how easy the boss is. You want to see how many times I fought this boss? Barely any. I barely died to him. I don't even want to fight him. I killed him seven times, and how many times have I died to him? Probably like 11 times. Which is a decent amount. That's not a lot of practice. And this is like throughout the whole time I was playing the game. I never wanted to fight this boss. Like I, I never knew he was like hard either. He's a really easy boss. You don't have to do much to fight him. It just creates parrying in space. And guess what the best way to fight him is? With a gun. Because he just twirls. You just parry that twirl and you keep shooting him constantly. You just go. You, like there's a guide on someone else. And they just parry them and shoots them. And then just parries everything. And 
do his twirl, and he'll, like, twirl that way. It's, like, a really weird way to fight him. I just do it. I mean, he's such an easy boss to fight, so that's the guy. There you go.